Welcome back to Lexitronics Guide to the Complete Lexical Tutor. Today we're going to take a look at the frequency trainer and it'll illustrate how Cobb's site works in that most of his tools, all of his tools, are based on principles uh, that have been established through research. Now the frequency uh, trainer is actually here in this button right here uh, under research. When you click on it you'll get to the frequency home page. Uh, we're going to take a look at a few of these tools later but right now I'd like you to look at number four frequency trainer. Uh, this is based on some research done by uh, McCrosty in 2007. Uh, we'll go there right now. What he looked at was his uh, students in Japan and he looked at their um, vocabulary books but he found that they had trouble um, sorting out which words uh, were high frequency words or not. So any word that, any word that they saw that they didn't know uh, they thought was really important to learn. Now, of course, uh, what learners need is, is our help as teachers to know uh, really which words are worth focusing on. But as, to as teachers, do we ourselves know this information? Well, this tool is a great way to find out. Uh, basically, it uh, takes a look at um, uh, words from a corpus, and you have to figure out if uh, these words are high frequency or not. Um, Right now at the bottom of the corner here, you'll see a little build option. You can choose how many words uh, you can test yourself at one time. Uh, we'll go for the default of 10. Just click build. And what happens is you'll see these words coming up uh, here. There are 10 of them. And we have to then decide on which frequency band these words come from. Trademark. If we think it's uh, the most common word of the first 2,000, we can click here. Beard, that sounds like it's a very common word. Solution, quite common maybe, but between three and 5,000. Space, oh, that looks quite common to me. Aisle, the aisle looks like a, not a very common one, so I'm going to guess it's in the third band here, between the six and 10,000 most commonly used words in English. Singular, well, okay, i got to guess here. Mobile, mobile phone, uh, should be quite common. I'll go for this band here. Camp. Hmm. Oh, camp sounds pretty common as well. Unseemly. Not a common word. I'm going to go right at the opposite end here. And controversy or cont controversy, depending which part of the pond you live on. Uh, that's also fairly one. So I'm going to, I've checked all these things here and I go check. Oops. Now, the ones that, uh, are okay, are marked okay. The ones that are X means that I haven't got them quite right. So for example, trademark mustn't be, uh, must be a little bit higher than that. Beard as well. Solution. Okay, I'm going to move up one there as well. Aisle, almost guessing here, must be higher as well. Singular, I'm guessing there as well. And controversy must also be quite an infrequent word. I'm going to check again. Okay, I've got 60% now. Uh, this was 610, so it's got to be down here. Contra aisle. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Uh, solution. Well, it's got to be a very common word then. Trademark. I'll go for one higher. Let's check again. Oop. All right. Uh, there we go. Uh, I got it in three tries, which is a bit lucky. Uh, as you can see, it uh, really stretches you a little bit. These words, these ten words here, actually are chosen um, at random from a corpus of about a million words. But uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great way to uh, test yourself out. Okay, so all you do is uh, build another one. And you keep going. So instead of playing that uh, silly uh, solitaire game, next time you have a few minutes, uh, pop into Cobb's site here and try to improve your frequency uh, knowledge of the words in English. A really, really valuable tool for you to use as, uh, as a teacher. Okay.